Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope today that I can bring everybody some clarity and insight into your situation. Remember to only take what resonates with you and leave the remaining for another Scorpio that needs to hear that message. So, let's jump in and find out what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit of the Divine and of the Loving White Light. Holy Spirit, please protect us and guide us through your loving energy. Give me the most precise, clear, and accurate messages for Scorpio. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know at this time? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Cross Watchers. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Let's see. Messages for Scorpio, please, Spirit. That's quick. Healer of the Ages. Um, your birthday could be on the 6th of November. Um, 51 could be your age, or it could just be an important number. You could also have the life path number 6, number 5, or life path number 1. Okay, it doesn't have to be. That just could be resonating for some of you. Let's see what this says, Scorpio. It says healer of the ages. This kind of looks like Jesus, so maybe some of you are religious or you believe in Jesus. Um... I feel like there's maybe you've become more spiritual okay this card talks about health and vitality okay this is a powerful this this powerful <clears throat> being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing to your life okay the light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and his heart flowing to you with love and powerful healing intention this amazing entity is what with you now bring in resolution to physical mental and emotional ills helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force you may have been feeling this strong sense of presence recently in your life scorpio maybe um or you may just be opening up to like some sort of wonderful sensations that you're having um it's saying that you can call upon this emissary and miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality balance or renewal Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. Okay, so there's something here that you're, you're being healed from, Scorpio. This could be um, a mindset. It could be a relationship. It could be from maybe having finances that are struggling. It could be from betrayal. It could be from hurt. It could be from anything. But this is, um, this is something that's amazing right now. It's bringing a resolution to you. Whether, like I said, it be like physical resolution, a mental resolution, any kind of emotional illness, any type of physical illness, okay? Even helping you get your energy to become unstuck and revitalize your life force. So with me feeling or hearing that, I'm feeling like some of you might need to pray to God and ask him to maybe unblock energies that you have blocked. You know, many people have, there's different ways you t you can unblock your energy, but one of the most powerful ways for me personally is by praying to God himself, okay? I know not everybody's going to agree with that, but I respect your opinion, please respect mine, but I feel like God's wanting you to pray to him, or he's hoping that you will. You know, God, he is our father, right? Um, and this is someone who who loves you unconditionally is what spirit just said and i feel like he wants you to call on him right now at this time and ask him for guidance ask him for help i feel like because you know god usually i mean not that he doesn't listen to people's prayers he listens to every one of them but what i've read and what i've learned like from personal experience is a lot of the times um, if you, for people who continuously say that they're going to, you know, God, I'm going to change. I'm going to do this. God, if you'll just let this happen for me, like I promise I'll do this. Like a lot of people could bribe God, to be honest with you, which is weird. Um, but I'm guilty of doing that when I was younger. Um, you can't make deals with God. I mean, you can, but not that, I feel like not in that way. Um, but I feel like God is wanting you to He's wanting people to work on themselves and to see and put effort. He's not just going to give you something easily. He wants you to have it with everything in him. But it's not something that comes easily. It's like, you know, no different than being a parent here on earth, I feel like. And this is my opinion. Um, I just feel like he's our father. 
and you love your kids here unconditionally, why would he be any different? Especially he tells you that he loves you more than you love your own children. Um, and so he was trying to help our human brains fathom the amount of love he has because everybody knows people love their kids or most good people do. Okay. Um, I just feel like this is, this is God's way of sort of sending you a message right now saying for you to reach out to him. And I feel like maybe you could have reached out for prayers in the past and maybe you felt like God wasn't there or God didn't answer or, you know, what good is it going to do if I pray again? You know, it's, I'm not going to get a response, but I feel like this could be a sign for those of you who felt that way, that he is here and he has been seeing you put an effort and work into changing something in your life that you've been praying for it to change. He's seeing you put in the work and I feel like now he's saying, reach back out to me. He's never not been there. Um, he's just, you know, showing tough love to a child, just like a parent would do here when you want them to have and understand what the true value of something is or what it should mean. You know, like my son, for instance, he didn't take care of his tennis shoes at all. Like he would always wear them with no socks. It would drive me crazy. Um, and then when I stopped buying him good expensive shoes because I was upset because I was like, you're not really respecting your things. You're not respecting my money. You are trashing them and just doing whatever. Like that's not fair to me. Um, so he started to take care of his shoes that he got, even the, the ones that he didn't like. And I did that because I wanted him to have the good shoes, but I also wanted him to know the value and the meaning of what it took to get those shoes, like how mom had to go to work and work really hard to buy those. Um, and how maybe your sister didn't get one or your brother, other brother didn't get one. And it's like, I feel like it's kind of that love that God is giving you or gave you. Or it's continuing, it's it's pouring out, overfeeling, full of love. And this is something your energy's been stuck in God saying, reach out and ask me for help so I can help you heal any unblocked stuck energy that you have so you can revitalize your life force and move forward with your life's mission, with your life's purpose. Okay? Now's the time that I'm gonna be able to bring you resolution to any problems that you have with your physical, your mental, or your emotional health. Okay? Um, for some of you, it did talk about maybe feeling some sort of strong presence recently. This is God. This is God. Um, it's like he's trying to send you signals and signs. Um, maybe you've been seeing repeating angel numbers. For some of you, I'm hearing 444-333. You could have also been seeing 1111. I feel like that's because there's a manifestation that's fixing to happen, but you need to heal first. There's something specifically that's going to help you maybe completely heal from something. I feel like you are at the very end of a healing process and it's like you're almost there, but you're not quite. And I feel like God's saying you've done the work, you've done all this healing and you put in the effort to make sure that you could get through this healing process. You're at that last little bit. Reach out to me so I can help you. I see that you were willing to put the work in to actually heal from something that you prayed about or to actually help pull yourself from sort of unstuck energy that you were in so that you could better your life. And it was in his divine will and purpose and plans that you do this because this is taking you towards your destiny and your purpose, something that God is calling you to do. It's a gift that you've been given that God wants you to exercise. He feels like you're ready for something now. Okay. I feel like there's something, this is going to give you a lot of health and vitality, Scorpio, is what Spirit just said to me. This is something that's going to make you feel uplifted. And um, have hope. You're going to have hope again, I hear. I don't feel that you ever really quite lost it. I do feel like maybe there were times, you know, just like everybody else, right? We all do it. Hang on one second. I apologize about any noise in the background, Scorpio. My kids are sleeping and I wake up early this morning so I could do this. Um, but what I, what I feel like saying is there's something and I feel like you should be listening to your intuition right now. I do feel like for a lot of you, you maybe need to take a little bit of time to regroup. Okay. And I feel like this is something you maybe even some of you have already started to do, um, so that you could start this healing. Okay. 
and um, I feel like maybe you even had some sort of patterns or other like ways of doing something to try to help you heal and this has worked okay I feel like there was a time when you were in this hermit energy I've seen it in the last couple of my reads where you have gone into solitude to heal and help try to fix yourself or fix something that you were not liking in your life okay and God is saying you've quieted your mind you've brought in this feeling of that warm vibration that healing light so it can help start to clear away any darker hurt in your in your space that was hurting you meditating God sees that God's seen you put in the work God seeing you people release people He's seen you actually try to help people. He's seen you try to help yourself. And you are his temple. You are in a vessel, right? And I feel like God used you as a light, a beacon of light. You're going to be used as this beacon of light. I'm noticing this this around his heart space and head space. He's a beacon of light. Okay? This has been God this whole time that's led you. If you've been going through something difficult, God's been with you this whole time. You're seeing that everything leads back to God. Um, God wants to heal you. I feel like you also have healing energy, Scorpio. Your affirmation for this card is the powerful healing of external love is with me now and always. Eternal love, I'm sorry. Divine consciousness fills my every cell. I am whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. God's bringing you peace, Scorpio. And also rewarding you for your work hard done to bring you vitality and health to feel whole again in his conscious light. I feel like you're going to start getting a lot of intuitive messages as well, if you haven't already. This could be something as simple as going to like Hobby Lobby and seeing a quote on the wall. Um, there's something. You're going to see something. This is a sign from God that this message was for you. You're going to see a Bible quote somewhere. And I know the likeliness of all of you seeing one is pretty, pretty likely. I mean, I would think going out and seeing something. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you could see it on the bumper sticker of somebody's car. Um, it could be even just you know, a certain Bible popping out, there's something you're going to get a sign from God that this message is for you and that he's there. I'm hearing, I didn't do this to you, but for you. So you might have gone through something really difficult that God's like, you might have questioned there for a little while and been like, is God really there? You know, I've been asking for a while. I'm not hearing anything. So whoever I'm speaking to, this isn't going to be for everybody, guys. But whoever I'm speaking to, I feel like you, you've gone through something that made you question, is God there? So I'm, I'm feeling, God, I'm feeling such an intense energy right now, Scorpio. Um, like just a heaviness on my chest. I feel like you could have been like hushed or had to suppress maybe your emotions had to hide away and maybe this is something you didn't share with many people it could have been embarrassing you could have felt belittled by this um this could have been something that you just didn't feel comfortable with maybe you don't feel like you have the right people to share this information with i'm hearing judgmental you could be surrounded by a lot of judgmental low vibrational people scorpio I don't know what this is, but I just feel like, boom, this message is deep. So if that's you, this is for you. Listen to this message, okay? There's something that God is going to be helping you heal from. And I feel like for the most of you, whatever that first thing that came to your head when I said something that you're going through and trying to heal from, whatever that first thought that popped in your head, that's what it is. That first thought that comes to your mind is your intuition, you know. Don't question that first thought. You're like, no, no, give me a boyfriend. No, it's not that. It's probably my house. You know what I mean? Like, it's that first one. She could be questioning, like, well, what is it that it's healed? And it's because I feel like you're going to be astonished to see that you really are healing. I feel like for a lot of you, you already know that, but I feel like you're fixing to feel, like, completely relieved of this burden. 
And I feel like it's because you trusted God, even if you lost faith over time while in the process. But I feel like you still hung in there. Right? And God's saying, Scorpio, you did the work. It's time to reward you. I'm bringing you healing from this. You've, you've done your part. And now it's time for you to shine and for everybody to see that you are a child of mine. And that you're so beautiful and amazing. And that you're strong and resilient. So this is amazing, Scorpio. I really, really like this message. Okay, I'm going to set this right here. So let's see, Scorpio. What is it that you're dealing with? I'm curious. Let me see. Let's get some Moonology cards. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Can you give me the messages for Scorpio? Can you give me more information about something that they're going to be healing from? Or receiving relief from? What is Scorpio clearing? Okay, Spirit. It's time to take action. Your dreams need an act actual plan and what do you need to release yeah Scorpio I just got a message loud and clear that I feel like you have basically already almost walked away from something you've done the process of most of it but I feel like there's one last thing on this to-do list whether it be detaching from somebody or taking the next step to completely close it out even if that means just healing and asking him to do an energetic cord cleanse on you, you know, in your own way, however you speak to God. Like, God, can you please just let the soul tie go? You know, I'm over it. I've healed. I've done the work. I've changed my people that I hang out with. I've changed locations. I've changed jobs. I've changed career. I've changed my attitude. Um, I changed the way that I, you know, go about my routine or how... I have negative thinking. I feel like there's a lot of you that changed a lot of stuff. I don't feel like whatever this is wasn't easy. And I feel like you went about this, whatever this was, with dignity. I'm seeing somebody in my mind with their head like held high and their chin up. Like with tears in their eyes. So whatever this was, was like almost like you had to be silent while you were going this. Like not, I don't feel like a lot of people knew. And if they did, I'm hearing a lot of people couldn't understand either. So it's like, although maybe you had support system or people to talk to, I don't feel like you ever really felt that Scorpio intensity of emotion and depth we give people. I don't think you ever really had somebody who could truly understand or that you felt did anyways. Maybe they did, but maybe you just didn't feel that they did. You could have been hanging out with people or, or confiding in people that you know, or one of those people where you're telling a story and then, you know, they kind of chime in and then you finish and it's like they just continue talking about themselves and don't ask you questions. Maybe you were surrounded by people that did, just didn't feel like they were really listening or that they really understood. Even if their attentions was, I don't think that this was done purposely for most of them anyways. Some of them could have been haters. But the divine is saying right now, there's a dream that you want. But I feel like one of the things that you're needing to do is you're needing to take the next action and creating this plan and how you want it to go from here. And maybe even releasing an idea saying you can't have it or you don't deserve it or you can't do it. That's that's not true. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. Maybe there's possibly even... Um, that could be one of their toys or an Aries moon sign that you're needing to release. I'm hearing, let them go even if it's not with you. Okay, so maybe there's somebody you need to release. That spirit, could, this is just for some of you, I feel that they could be saying, let that person be happy even if it's not with you. Maybe there's just like a little bit of anger in you. You don't even care for somebody, but there's just a little bit of anger of how maybe you got betrayed. And you've been hanging on to the anger. Maybe you need to release it. It's time to take action and release that and let this last cord, last cord go. And maybe if you ask God, like he's saying, that he can help you release this. And maybe you just feel that this is going to be a hard one to let go. But God's saying, look, you did most of the work. Ask me. 
ask me, Scorpio. Yeah, conclusions are within reach and your commitment is being tested. Are you committed to making this happen, Scorpio, whatever it is that you prayed for? If you are, then Spirit's saying, Holy Spirit is saying, you know what to do. There's something you need to release, but you need to take action into this plan and create it so that you can go. Because look, conclusions are within reach. There's an answer that's coming to you very soon, or it's going to help you receive. Yeah, look, your hard work is paying off. There's something you've worked your ass off for. There's something that's happening for you. And Spirit's saying the answers are coming to you if you just ask. Because conclusions are within reach in the situation. Are you committed to actually going through something that you asked for? Or did it scare you? Maybe you changed your mind. Maybe your you, Spirit could say in your commitment. Also, your commitment in God and faith is being tested by you asking for help. Maybe you're prideful, Scorpio. Yeah, a time for healing. Look, this is definitely about something healing. I feel like a lot of you, this is a commitment to yourself and staying true and loyal to yourself. Look, I said, I feel like you've been working your ass off doing the work. And look what it says. Your hard work is paying off. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit is with me today. I don't know who I'm reading for, but this is just, this just seems like something that's really... Maybe a lot of you would typically skip over. I'm trying to do a small intro about you guys at the beginning instead of always just about love because I feel like it's really it's really important and valuable information that you get in the morning, a morning read or before the read. Um, maybe that was a sign from spirit because I said morning because I don't usually do my readings in the morning. I usually do them in the evening, but I decided to do it in the morning. So I'm also kind of like relating to this read. Am I going to stay committed to getting up early in the morning? Because this is, I have a dream to maybe um, be able to get more signs out, more, more reads. Scorpio, there's definitely an energy here that's saying you've worked something, you've worked for something so hard. There's one last little bit of healing you need to do and the divine saying reach out. Any other messages for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Yeah, nothing is yet set in stone. Maybe it's like you you, you could be feeling like, okay, I'm almost healed, or I feel like I'm getting over this, or I feel like I'm getting better. You know, I have been putting the work in. It should be any moment, and then I should be healed, or it shouldn't be much longer. Spirit's saying, hold that vision, Okay. Because I feel like if you start to get impatient or start to be like, okay, is God still there? Is he even listening? Spirit's saying, yes, he's there. Ask him for help. Okay, maybe you're just too prideful to ask God for help, but God loves it when we ask him for help, Scorpio. Okay, because it's saying luck is on your side in this situation. You could have fears. But Spirit's saying, Scorpio, now is the time to take action in this situation. Okay, I just saw communication is key. I just heard positive communication. So maybe you're not able to speak to somebody happily because, you know, somebody tested you and you don't know how to do that. It's saying to balance spirituality and practic practicality. So you could be dealing with the Pisces, but it's saying, you know, still have that faith in me, but also be practical about the situation. What's best? That's what I just heard. What is best? Yeah. Why, Scorpio? Because the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Just like I said. It's time to completely seal it off and heal. Everything you've worked your ass off for is going to pay off. But you can't just walk away now and say, Okay, I think I'm healed. And not do that last little bit of work. Or ask for that last little bit of help from God. Because Spirit's saying if you do, nothing's yet set in stone. Like, don't give up now. Don't just think, okay, I'm done now. When you know inter internally and maybe even externally that you're not. There's still some feelings there. Even if it's a little, there might be a hell of a lot less than you had. But there's still feelings there. Yeah, work through these fears. Scorpio, that's you. It's saying, Scorpio, work through your fears. 
That is your card. But adjustments are required, required Spirit said. Adjustments are required, but you can work, work through these fears. Okay? Look. Believe in the impossible. So whatever you think that you can't do or that you're... That, is it possible? Spirit saying, believe in the possible because it's me, God. It's I. It's me. Don't be fooled. I can help you. If you've gotten this far, I wasn't alone. I was there with you the whole time. I just needed to see you put in the work. Okay? And this is going to make you emotional. Emotions are running high. I feel like because you, you know that maybe emotions are going to go crazy after you do this one last little thing. Okay? And then it says, last but not least, expect a powerful change, Scorpio. New moon eclipse. We just had an eclipse. There was something maybe I'm hearing about the eclipse that we had um, that shifted some sort of something in your reality, Scorpio, that's going to be so powerful and it's going to change everything. Bottom of the deck, we have you and your loved ones are safe. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could have a cancer child. Very, very beautiful, powerful message. So that was just a, a few messages about yourself. Let's see what's going to happen, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in your love. Sorry about the air, guys. I don't really feel like it. It's, a it's kind of loud on here. Okay. Let me see, Spirit. Which cards? Okay, let me see. What's going on with Scorpio? Give me Scorpio's current energy. Oops, wait to me. Let me give it a couple shuffles, Scorpio. Spirit, can you give me what messages does Scorpio need to know about the love situation? Swords and the High Priestess. They, I'm, I'm not taking more than one. Give me one card. The Five of Pentacles. Oops, dropped a card. Okay, we have the Star. The Magician. Wow, a lot of majors out here, but one card, guys. The five of cups. We have two fives. You could be seeing triple fives. Definitely healing. You're at the end of healing, Scorpio. <laughs> or somebody else's. The ace of cups. The queen of swords. Queen of Cups. One more. The Page of Cups. So there's a lot of water out here. So I see why we had the card that came out that said emotions are running high because we have cup, 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 cup. And we have a lot of majors. There's definitely a lot of spiritual lessons that you're learning at this time or that you're surpassing, I'm hearing. That you are mastering that you're being challenged and passing easily 